So I want to get exactly two heads. So the probability of getting a head is one out of two, and I want two of those. And the probability of not getting a head is one half. They have to add to one, and I want four of those. But this would just be the probability if I stopped now of getting oops, not even head head. Uh, tail, 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 exactly that order. But I don't care what order I get the heads in, so I need to multiply by the number of combinations. So there are six times I'm um, uh, flipping, and I want to choose two of those to be heads. So this is your binomial theorem. Now the ones they choose on, um, or binomial probability, so the ones they choose on this worksheet are kind of boring because both of those are halves, but it does it does still work. So this is going to be uh, 6 choose 2 is 15, and this will be 1 over 2 to the 6, so it's 15 out of 64, and that's your answer. So whenever, like, so you can use your binomial probability if you have um, independent trials every time you flip the head. Uh, is independent of the next time you flip the dice, or flip the coin, I can talk. Uh, and you have a fixed number of trials, you're rolling it six times, or flipping it six times, and uh, yeah. So it's not like the other ones where we had something and we were choosing things, like having n things, choosing r of them, having 14 people and choosing three of them. It's a bit of a different feel here, because they're all independent every time. Lots of wording. I want to move on. Okay.